Hey there, and welcome to episode 17 of my uh, my Mountain Blade Warband Roman Invasion Let's Play Adventure. So last time we were basically just running around killing Sea Raiders, which are uh, tough enemies, so hopefully that uh, entertained you enough, uh, as I wasn't doing any quests or anything. So um, I'm still on the hunt for more Sea Raiders. We also killed off some Tundra Bandits, which gave us a fair amount of uh, experience, and uh, our army is uh, is now looking pretty formidable. Well, I mean, it, it's not perfect, but it's it's small, but it's far more highly upgraded than a lot of uh, vassals would have, I'm hoping. So um, we should be in good stead for the upcoming war that's going to happen eventually. There's always going to be a war at some point. So, you know, the war is always upcoming. So, um, I haven't actually been back to my Fife in a while, and that's because, one, I can't afford to upgrade anything in it, and two, uh, I'm not overly fussed about having that Fife in particular, and three, because there's nothing there to actually train on. So I'm uh, I'm hanging around this Sea Raider uh, landing here because they can. Uh, where did they go? I swore I saw some Sea Raiders here. Anyway, because uh, Sea Raiders will spawn near this Sea Raider landing. It is possible that uh, they've run out of people to spawn. Ah, the Sarinid Sultanate has gone to, war, gone to war with the Kurgic Carnate, which is good, because it means we won't be going to war with the Carnate. This could end badly. 58 against 40 Sea Raiders. This could get tricky. No, no, no. Follow me. Here we go. Right. Ah, they're on that hill there. We want to hold this position and stand closer because once their axes have run out they're going to have to come in for melee and we'll have the, the hill advantage and uh, they're shooting at me they didn't miss, they didn't hit but they're still shooting at me I haven't hit anything yet which is quite annoying there we go, that's better aim for that bloody archer you and you. Oops. That was a poor shot. He's dead. There. Where the hell did you come from? It's possible that my horse is no longer as good as it was because it got knocked out. But uh, I haven't actually looked. So um, I'll have a look after the battle. Oh, three headshots in a row. That was epic. Four in a row. Ah. Uh, ruined my spree. Where do you think you're going? Okay. Fine. Do you want to play like that? Ah. Oh. I don't think you're going to get away. You're not. Right then. Ah. Charge, because they're all starting to run away now. I don't want them to get away. They must not get away. You must kill all of them. evil disappearing right in front of me. I reckon if there's anyone in front of them they shouldn't be allowed to disappear. I was being too accurate there, that was the problem. We won. We took no casualties and we killed 
pretty much all of them. Two got away. Those two that went and disappeared in front of me got away. Uh, peasant woman. These women will uh, turn into sword sisters. I'm not going to hire them, but um, they do. You have to take my word for it, because it's highly unlikely they actually survive long enough to get that far. So, uh, right. Oh, I've got a an inventory full of stuff that I don't really want because there's better stuff here. 55, 95, 72, 71, no, I'll have the 80, thank you. Okay. Right then. That's some money. going to support you Mira over uh, over the other woman over, over Mathild because I don't think she's going to stick around very long and I like you Mira she's my favourite uh, hero character but hold on I'm going to check what um, if any equipment that I've got is better for her than uh, what she's already got she doesn't have power draw 2 yet I really should give her a melee weapon but then she'll just go and start using it. No, I'm not going to do anything else there. Uh, hers, however, I'm pretty sure I've got a better shield now. In fact, I know I do. Yeah, Nordic shield. There we go. That one's better. And chipped battle axe. She's got a regular battle axe. Nordic sword and spear. Nomad saber. 29. Does more damage. Longer reach. Yeah, it's just better in every way. You can have that instead. Uh, Light Lance. That does 20, 26, 16, 27. I'm going to give the Light Lance instead of the, uh, instead of the Spear. Right then. Uh, hold on, what was at the top? Uh, no, that's fine. I'm going to rearrange that though. I want my food at the top always so I know exactly what's going on with my food. Because that's the most important part really. Now then. Oh, those are routed sea raiders. Let's get these uh, this group of 37 sea raiders here. I'm not going to do a lot other than attacking sea raiders, probably until we actually go to war with someone, because I need to level up my troops. I need better troops. I can, I'm actually faster than these sea raiders now, which is good. It means my men have upgraded enough that they're better. Right then. And we're actually doing pretty well. Oh no, not mountains. I hate mountains. Mountains are bad for horse riders. Very, very bad. Um, right, what am I going to do? Clearly they're over this way somewhere. So... I'm going to go around my troops, or through my troops, okay, that works too. And I'm going to go over this side. Cavalry, come with me. And we're going to go up, up this bank here, away from the enemy. Because they're going to be on top of that hill, I expect, so we haven't got the hill advantage. But um, if I bring the cavalry around to side, hopefully, if I can ever actually get up this bank. No, I can't actually climb up it. That's irritating. I'm going to have to follow, follow the uh, the infantry. I was going to try and uh, flank around them. But never mind. I don't have a choice. I have to go this way. You can see uh, there are javelins and arrows and things flying all over the place up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and ride straight through all of the sea raiders and get around to the other side so I can attack them from behind. If people will ever get out of the way... Oh, my horse is actually stuck in the floor. That was stupid. Right. Okay, now we're at the top of the hill. Oh. 
go dead. And I leveled up. Excellent. He's dead. There's bound to be some more around here somewhere. But we haven't won the battle yet, so there must be more around here somewhere, even if they're routing units. Where are you hiding? There you are. get away. And we win. Excellent. I think we lost a few people there. Yeah, we lost a legionary, a auxiliary and a town watch. Oh well, not a lot we can do about that. Right, and that mail is actually really quite good. And what's the cheapest thing that I have? Uh, these ones I think. Yeah, those two. Uh, that's worth, yep. Uh, 390 is the lowest, no, 85 is the lowest. 90, 80 and 90 both go. Uh, right, 106. Use the Nomad bow. Anything less than 132? No. Okay. I don't like leaving loot behind that's worth a fair amount of money, but not that I can do with it. Other than leave it behind. Uh, right. So now we have 20 Praetorian Cohorts and 26 Legionary Cohorts and 6 Auxilia. Now my character level up again. Um, level 4 would bring me 1600, 180. So that will take me up to 220, so I could actually use that. But no, I'm going to do trade again. And on my two-handed weapons again. There we go. Okay, so we've finished off all the all of the raiders over here. I'm going to head back towards my territory and try to take out these sea raiders on the way. There's another 30 or so down there, but um, no, I'm going to head, start heading back now because uh, my party's fairly highly upgraded now. Well, it's, it's almost all the way upgraded as far as I can get so I'm going to need some more peasants to make up fodder units so um, there's Granus there I want to stop by a town why is there a town I think the nearest town is Decius possibly um, yeah I think the nearest town is, uh, is Decius or Decius so I'm going to have to head towards there when I get there. Or Angelus. Angelus might be closer. By the time I finish chasing these sea raiders, Angelus will probably be closer. So I think we end up... Keep chasing them. I think we end up going to Angelus here to sell my wares. That's fine. Okay, whatever. Ignore them. Yeah, okay. Angelus is definitely closer. So we'll go to Angelus. Question is, can I catch these sea raiders? unlikely. Nah, they've peeled off to the side. I'm not going to chase them through the woods because it's just slow and tedious and no one wants to watch that. And I've completely lost track of how long this video is. Because I'm watching... Um, Fraps breaks up your videos into uh, 5 gig... no, not 5 gig, uh, 5 minute um, sections. And uh, I've got quite a few sections on the screen. I've got two screens, so I'm playing this on one screen and I'm watching as the um, 
as the files pop up on the other. And uh, I've lost track of where the end of the last episode was and where the beginning of this one was. So um, I'm thinking this one's about, well, it's under 15 minutes, I think. So I'm going to carry on for a little while. Let's sell my goods. That's 500 from the weapons. And a thousand from the armor. That's excellent. I really want that Praetorian armor, but I just can't afford it. Rearrange my food. Right. Uh, arms. A morning star would be a good idea because it crushes through blocks. So it, even if they're blocking, I can still hit them uh, most of the time, actually. But this Bardesh does so much damage. Hmm. I could get a stronger jeep bow. It does less damage. It's only that is the best bow in the game. 22,300 dinars, basically. 30 damage, power draw of 8. I want it. I want it so badly that it almost hurts. That's just a brilliant bow. Oh, I want it. I want it. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I can't have it. That's almost heartbreaking. Because that bow will only come around... I, I don't even know how often that bow will come around. I've only seen about three or four of them in the whole time I've been playing. So I doubt I'll ever see that bow ever again. And if I do, it'll be at another time when I can't afford it. So that's uh, very disappointing. Just introducing myself... I don't want to stay here introducing myself to the uh, person there. Uh, there's not really a lot of point in going to my Fife. So I'm going to go and uh, recruit some more men. If I ha Yeah, I've got plenty of money. I'm going to recruit some more men. Another 50 peasants. I'll get some more food as well. So I now have 100 men in my party. I'm... Um, I'm going to get the feeling that uh, soon I'm going to have to start making other forms of uh, monetary gain. We're still not at war with anyone, are we? No, we're at peace with the Gauls for 15 more, ga for more, 15 more days. Um, but other than that, no. I'm going to head back over, over in this direction. and um, see if I can pick up any more bandits because uh, those sea raiders were absolutely fantastic for leveling up and for getting money too so um, I'm going to try and find some more sea raiders I think I didn't level up did I? Vegeers has gone to war with the Gauls that'll be interesting I think the Vigiers will have the upper hand in that one. And they'll probably take this castle first, uh, Gwydion, or Gideon. Probably Gideon, but I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to pronounce that. If anyone speaks Welsh, let me know, because that looks more like a Welsh name than a French one. Or, or a Gallic one, rather. So, we're going to ride back over here and find some more sea raiders so I can level up these uh, these peasants which are in the wrong place oh, party please they should be there right I'm also really slow now 4.5 because I've got so many so many men but um, the average uh, group in fact here we go I can look at how many uh, how many elite troops these guys have. He with a well, with a force that was round about the same as what mine used to be. Twenty swordsmen. He doesn't even have any elite troops. He has twenty swordsmen, which are the equivalent of my legionary cohorts, which I've got twenty six of. 
this guy is closer to my numbers now 21 chosen swordsmen so that's 21 of the advanced um, ones so that would be the same as my Praetorians so you've got one more of those um, but he only has 14 swordsmen and the rest are below so I'm, I'm fairly on par with any any vassal right now I need more if I'm going to uh, ensure that I'll win if I uh, if I engage with them but um, that's fine otherwise so uh, ah, more sea raiders so I think I'm actually going to cut off the video here and that will be the end of uh, episode 17 I think this is so um, I'll go around and attack some more sea raiders and once the uh, once we declare war on someone or I get a mission or something then uh, I'll start the next episode so that I don't bore you with just fighting night raiders and uh, sea raiders rather again and again and again night raiders from Rome Dale War not, uh, not from Mountain Blade there's a battle going on with the Gauls and the, and the Kyrgyz Khanate there so I can't get involved so uh, looters I could catch looters I'm going to go after them but I'm not going to do it in this episode so uh, yeah I'll see you next time